A movie doesn't always turn out the way you'd like it. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover color correction and color balance. Now I have a clip selected, and there are two tools up in the toolbar here. So the one that we're currently on is color correction. And these are a set of manual controls that let you tweak your clips or images. This one is automatic, and this is the color balance, and there's different things you can do here. Now let's start with the color correction. Now I have a clip selected. And we're going to look at the contrast controls up here. This is where you've got your contrast levels. So you've got your black level, your gray level, your contrast level. Uh, you can adjust your shadows to make them darker or lighter. You can do the overall brightness of the whole clip. That'll change the whole thing. Adjusting the shadows will just make dark areas lighter or darker. This one will make light areas brighter or darker. And these are your contrast levels here. So in this one here, if I, if I drag that to the left, then I'm going to make the dark areas, the shadows, darker. But the light areas on that image will not change. So you look at the sky, it never changes. But the shadows, which are all these around the buildings, they are getting darker. Now if I do it the other way, I'm going to make the shadows lighter. But I'm still not going to change the, the, the light or the white areas of the image. Now on the other side, you adjust your bright areas. So this will make your bright areas lighter or darker. So we're going to adjust this area here or this area in here, but the shadows won't change. So if I drag that to the right, then the whole uh, lighter part of the image is getting brighter. And you can see the sky is getting brighter, but also the, the yellow part here of the, uh, the person's clothing is really becoming unwatchable. Now you can drag it the other way and make those light areas darker. The brightness, this will change the brightness of the overall clip, making it lighter or darker. So I'm going to go that way, it's taking the whole thing darker, brighter. The contrast buttons work together to lower or increase the contrast. So if I go this way, I'm deepening the contrast, decreasing the contrast, and all of these are manual controls. Now this middle section here is the saturation, so I can make that clip more or less colourful. So taking it to the left will desaturate it and make it black and white, and going the other way is it's going to make those colours brighter. So the, uh, there are, there's too much colour in this part here, all the buildings, uh, and too much colour in the uh, yellow. This is the reflection of the sun, which makes the, uh, the guy's hair look orange. So you could make, you know, turn that down a bit or adjust the colour. And a, a better one to look at is we look at this picture of an arm hanging out of the balloon and then saturate that. You can see that blue of the arm, of the shirt, has got much bluer as well as it brings up all the colours of the, the, um, the street at road level and the trees, etc. This one is making your colours warmer or cooler, so adjusting the temperature. So this way it's going to be much more cooler, so more bluer. This one, warmer. The colour balance controls. There is an auto, so if I selected that, that's going to automatically change the colour, the white balance and the skin tone. You can see it did change. If I turn that off, undo it, edit, undo or, or command Z, let's undo that. And do that again, it does change. So if you wanted to do it automatically, you could do auto. Now if we want to match the color, uh, there is a, a frame here which was taken probably at the same time, just for, at a different moment in time. So this one looks a bit darker or the sun's reflecting on the people in the balloon. This one is taken at the same time, but they have a little bit different backgrounds. Now I want to match the the color of this one I want. The one on the right, the color, the background light of that one to be reflected in this clip here. So this is the frame that I'd like to change the color from. So I'm going to match the color, click on, there's an eyedropper there, so I want to change this one. So click that one and you can see the two of them to change. So the, the both the background colors are a little bit more similar. 
and then tick to accept that change. So this one is now a lot similar to this one. Now, white balance. A white balance adjusts the color of the video. Now, you can do this to reflect uh, the true reality of what you want to see, or you can do some strange effects. The white balance is going to move to a different, move to a different clip. Select white balance, and then I'm going to pick a color on that uh, frame to change the whole background color of that, or the whole color of the video. So if I pick the blue, it's going to change the whole color balance of that clip. Click the cross if you don't want to keep it, or if I pick this blue, and it's going to give us a, a much more yellow background, which might be good for an effect. So in this part, and, uh, select it with the tick, that whole clip has now got that type of white balance. And if that wasn't your intention, then what we should have done is split the clip. So let's just undo that, undo the white balance. And I want just this little bit, this frame here, to have that color. So I'm going to click here and then right click and split clip. And onto this one. And we'll keep the whole of that clip and put the effect onto that one. So now go back to white balance, select that blue, and all of this clip, the tick, all of this clip has got that yellow tinge, whereas the rest of it's got the normal color. So you can use white balance to create different effects. Skin tones. So let's go back to another clip here. So let's pick one of these and change the skin tone. So I click to select that part of the, the, the clip and select skin tone balance and again pick uh, a color. So if I click the bricks, then all of that background of the clip takes on a little bit of those skin tones. Let's undo that. So if I do skin tone, pick a different color, say the blue, it takes on a different color for the whole clip. Turn that one off. Skin tone balance. Just experiment with different parts of the image just to try and get a better um, picture. That one doesn't look too bad. And then when you're happy, click the tick. Now if you um, wanted to change your mind, you can remove all the adjustments by clicking reset for that clip. So if we went back to this one, reset. So you can experiment and look at all the different things you can do manually by changing your contrast levels, your saturation levels and your temperature levels and automatically. The color, the white balance and the skin tone. And if you've made a dreadful mistake and you want to go back to what you originally had, then there's a reset all and take everything off. So in this video, we looked at how you can tweak your video with color balance and color correction. That's all for this video.